a group of nerdy college guys who are struggling to connect with peers their own age, stumble upon the thrill of engaging in romantic encounters with alluring older women. Brandon, a university freshman majoring in economics, walks towards his class this morning, observing college girls engaging in various activities on the school's grounds. Due to his lack of experience, everything he sees arouses him, and he can't help but stare at the girls. A classmate calls him a creep and threatens to inform the entire class. Brandon's best friend, Anthony, is on a mission to buy some alcohol for their friends. Their fraternity brothers are hosting a party later that night, and Brandon asked Anthony to make sure they have the alcohol ready. They hope this will be the night they lose their virginity. Anthony makes a playful remark about Brandon's recently divorced mom, calling her an attractive older woman and teasingly suggests he'd like to be with her. Brandon warns Anthony not to pursue his mother and hangs up. When Anthony arrives at Brandon's house, Lori, Brandon's mom, lets him in. As they interact, there's undeniable closeness tension building. Lori allows Anthony to take the alcohol he came for. Just as Anthony is about to leave, something prompts him to turn back. He enters the house and surprises Lori, who is preparing to take a shower. Her towel slips off, leaving Anthony taken aback by the situation. Later that night, there's a party on the roof hosted by the senior boys, excluding Brandon and his two gamer friends, Nate and Ross. Anthony brings the alcohol, but he's still preoccupied with thoughts of Lori. The senior boys show up and take the alcohol. When the boys protest, they are asked to leave. They decide to head to Anthony's home. Anthony explains that his mom, Holly, is taking Lori out to reintroduce her to the dating scene. He comments on how dating older women can be advantageous for young men like them, making it easier to connect with women. Upon reaching Anthony's place, the boys find Lori and Holly engaged in a private activity. This sight disturbs Anthony to the point where he questions their relationship. The boys opt to spend the night in the guest house. Here, Anthony confesses to seeing Lori in an embarrassing situation, which prompts Brandon to leave the house for some fresh air. As they walk through the grounds, Brandon witnesses Holly in an unexpected situation, but is caught when the lights come on. That night, he has a dream in which Holly approaches him and offers a service. This dream is interrupted by Anthony, who feels apologetic for his earlier actions and promises to be there for Brandon. Anthony realizes he left his wallet at home, so they return to retrieve it. While Anthony goes to get the wallet, Holly approaches Brandon. Brandon attempts to apologize for the previous night, but Holly ends up kissing him. She also takes Brandon's phone and snaps a few photos. On the way to school, Anthony sees the pictures and assumes that Brandon has a secret lover. That night, the boys decide to hang out at a popular spot for older women. Nate and Ross have a bet going on who can attract more women by the end of the year. As the night goes on, both boys make their conquests. Ross has Brandon drive him and his partner home, where they engage in a passionate encounter. Meanwhile, Nate finds himself in a unique situation with an older couple. The next day, the two boys boast about their conquests, even though Ross has trouble believing Nate. To prove it, they borrow Brandon's camera to record their adventures. Brandon's friends have a class together, leaving Brandon alone in the room. He sets up his camera and is about to spy on his roommate getting intimate when someone knocks on his door. Holly apologizes for her earlier actions, explaining that she was trying to be spontaneous. Luckily, the attraction between them is strong, and they end up sharing a passionate kiss. Brandon also learns about a certain accessory and becomes intimate with Holly. As things get heated, Brandon decides to position himself near a peephole in the wall. Coincidentally, their senior bully is investigating the moaning sounds, and in an unexpected turn of events, Brandon's actions result in a surprising mishap. Holly prepares to leave just as they hear the door opening, signaling Anthony's return. Panicking, they hide under the bed, and Anthony assumes Brandon has left. Anthony discovers that Brandon accidentally recorded the affair, although the woman's identity isn't clear. He indulges himself in this discovery before leaving the room. After this awkward encounter, Brandon and Holly continue to meet in private.
Anthony begins to feel neglected, urging Brandon to distance himself from his friends. Meanwhile, Nate and Ross are focused on their list of encounters with women. Over the next few weeks, their thoughts seem fixated on romantic rendezvous. One day, Nate and Ross invite Anthony to join them at the market. The plan is to help Anthony find a romantic partner since he's been missing out on the action. Anthony ends up assisting a woman with her groceries, and the two find themselves in an intimate situation at her house. Nate and Ross follow him, aiming to capture the scene through the windows. The following morning, Anthony is awakened by three children who mistake him for their new father. In a hurry to leave, Anthony dresses in the car. Holly invites Brandon to a romantic candlelit dinner and shares how her life felt more meaningful with him in it. Anthony's father arrives in town and plans to have a family dinner. Since Brandon has been friends with Anthony since childhood, he's expected to attend. Though Brandon initially hesitates, Anthony insists. During the dinner, there's a bit of tension due to the less than amicable divorce between Anthony's parents. Anthony brings up Brandon's relationship with a mysterious woman, and his dad encourages him to be adventurous. After dinner, Anthony has to pick up Nate for an emergency, so Anthony's dad offers to give Brandon a ride back to campus. Once Anthony leaves, his father acknowledges that he knows about Brandon's involvement with Holly. While he doesn't seek an apology from Brandon, he asks him to consider the impact of this affair on his friendship with Anthony. Anthony reaches the hotel where Nate's latest rendezvous is taking place. Nate is getting intimate with their physics professor's wife. Fortunately, Anthony manages to delay the professor, allowing Nate to escape without being caught. Likewise, Ross finds himself in a situation where the woman he's with becomes unwell, so he dials 911 and leaves to get help. After a memorable evening with Holly, Brandon is awakened by Anthony, who surprises him with breakfast and playfully calls him Daddy. The two spend the day playing sports, with Brandon pretending to be Anthony's stepfather, and Anthony seems comfortable with the playful role. Brandon suddenly wakes up from a dream with a sense of relief, but that relief quickly turns to dread when he discovers that his camera is damaged. He confronts Nate and Ross for their carelessness and urges them to take responsibility for their actions. However, the boys are preoccupied with a barrage of texts from potential acquaintances. Anthony wonders aloud if Brandon believes there's a chance of his parents reconciling, expressing a hint of sadness as he knows his parents' marriage was never a happy one. Before Brandon can respond, Nate and Ross propose a plan. They should throw a party at Anthony's house as a grand finale to their friendly wager. While Brandon is at the notice board, he's approached by a girl named Alex. She's someone he's had romantic interest in, but he feels somewhat shy about approaching her. She expresses her excitement for the upcoming party and hopes to see him there. Brandon also has a conversation with Holly, expressing his intention to bring their relationship to an end. Holly believes that Brandon is distancing himself because of his newfound popularity at school. She insists that she wants happiness, and she believes Brandon is the one who can provide it. She refuses to let him break things off. The party turns out to be a success, and Nate finds himself at ease as he observes the older women mingling with other college students. Brandon spots Alex and strikes up a conversation with her. Alex is surprised that someone their age is interested in an older woman, but Brandon doesn't let that deter him. She mentions that she'll be interning over the summer, and they can spend time together whenever he likes. Their conversation is interrupted by Holly, who insists that Brandon follows her inside. Holly is surprised and pleased that Brandon didn't leave, interpreting it as a sign of his interest in her. She initiates a kiss with Brandon, but moments later, Anthony walks in on them. Anthony is disgusted to learn that the affair has been ongoing for months. In his anger, he punches Brandon in the face, leading to a fight inside the indoor sauna. After they cool down, Brandon apologizes for his actions and promises to make amends. Anthony reveals that he, too, had a physical encounter with Lori on the day he saw her naked. The two boys agree that this evens the score and decide to move forward. Holly approaches the boys, expressing her thoughts on the affair. She believes that while it was enjoyable, it can't continue. 
the implications on their lives make it awkward for them to remain together. As summer begins, the boys bid their goodbyes. Anthony heads out to meet his father for dinner, promising to talk to Brandon later. Brandon runs into Alex, who is also preparing to move out. Alex claims that Anthony had informed her about everything that had transpired between them. To Brandon's relief, he learns that Anthony had crafted a story to conceal the truth. In a heartwarming moment, Brandon and Alex share a kiss, showing that love can be found in unexpected situations. The movie concludes here. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and stay connected with us.